This video mainly focuses on the basics of a pictorial drawing. A multi-view drawing will be given and then we'll try to construct the isometric drawings of that object using some steps here. At the initial stage, the object is given in this way, but finally we'll add some features on this part and then I will show you how we can construct that surface. Sometimes it will be very helpful to construct a freehand sketch just to visualize the object in the pictorial drawing. So let me show you that one. If you look into this surface, the front view is just an L shape and then the top view is just one rectangle and then one T shape object here. The first thing is just to have to understand the meaning of the surface and then also the meaning of the lines here. Here is one hidden line that means it indicated that there is a surface which is covered with the other surfaces here. So if you look over here, the first thing is this is just L shape. So the L shape is just one surface. Since it is one surface, it will be on one plane. All, all the views will be projected on one plane unless there is an incline or oblique surfaces here. Since there is no any inclined or oblique surface so this L shape will be just throughout the given part and then it will be very simple if you just try to sketch with a freehand sketch just like this one first let's just construct this simple box once we construct this isometric box let's try to put this surface on the front view that means the front view is just L shape so from this side let's just project the surface as the front side so this is just the L shape and then when we just look from the top there is two surfaces here normally so the first surface the rectangular surface will be on this level or on this position so you'll just try to construct the upper surface over this one but when we suggest the surface that means the c-shaped surface here it is on the lower levels of the surface so it will be very helpful just to put this surface over this one once you do that you'll just try to construct or try to understand this one once you just construct it it will have such types of layout now let's add just the height parts of this part if you just do that that means it's just the 20 millimeter here so if you just add this portion finally you'll have such types of layout just once you finish all the lines into this way i will show you normally the detail part is on the instrument based sketching so once you just complete the freehand sketch the object will have such types of surface so we are trying to construct this object or this drawing on the isometric drawing so to do that let's just indicate the lower pointers of the box that means we'll start constructing our box starting from this point once you just mark that point you'll just arrange your protractor into this way and then once you do that you'll just mark three pointers that means 30 degree from the right and from the left part and then at 90 degree on the middle of that position once you construct this, we can just construct the isometric axis into this way. So with the lengths of this part, in this case, if you just look from the front side, normally we are trying to focus on the front view over this direction. So from here to it is just given as 120 millimeters. So we'll measure 120 millimeters into this way. And then we can construct one construction line. And then in the other one on this direction, from here to here, it is just the depth part. If you just look over this, it is 80 millimeters so you will draw this construction line at the length of 80 millimeter and then the other one for the height part the height of the front view is just given as a 60 millimeter so vertically we can just mark a 60 millimeter length finally once you construct all this you will get the three lines once you do that just let's add the other two vertical lines having the lengths of 60 millimeter into this way once you construct that Let's add the width part here. So the width part can be constructed into this way. So you can connect the two lines and then we can just draw the depth dimension. That means it is just 18 millimeter. Once you do this, finally, you'll try to finish all the things parallel to this one. So the depth part can be constructed at the tip of the surface and then the width part can be constructed at the tip of this one. And then finally, you will have this isometric box. So this isometric box is constructed with a three isometric axis just like this one you can just take as a reference of x y and z axis so if you look over here the three axis that means this one this one and this one are parallel to each other and then the other one 
the three axes that meet in the davis part this one this one and this one are parallel to each other and then the vertical axis this this and this axis are parallel to each other the next step is just locate the positions of the l shape that means the l shape is from this tip to this tip it is just a 30 millimeter so from here to here you will measure 30 millimeter and then you'll construct this three lines it will be very simple to construct it so once you construct all this three lines the next step will be just will just construct the line from here to here as a 20 millimeter vertically and then once you measure that you'll try to construct all this construction line and then parallel to this one in the depth part and then parallel to the width part you can construct at the level of 20 millimeter from the lower part now you can darken all the surfaces which is just on the front view just like this one you can darken this l shape so this is just the shape and then from the top view you can darken this rectangle because we are sure that all the surfaces are placed on this specific location and then the other one when you just come to this one you can just darken this two remaining lines and then finally you'll have this part and the other thing is here if you look this c-shaped surface it is not placed on the upper part instead of that it is just placed over this surface so on this surface we are trying to construct the c surfaces into this way it's just given us 20 millimeters so from here to here we'll measure 20 millimeter and then we'll construct one vertical line and then from here to here at the end part it's also given us 20 millimeter and then we'll measure that and then we'll construct this vertical line once we get those two vertical lines and then into the width part we can project all the surfaces make sure that every surfaces will have a three axis unless it is just covered with the other part i will show you it later so once you do that you'll construct all those two surfaces at the distance of uh, 20 millimeter and the hidden line is just located at 50 millimeter from the surface so we can draw one construction line into this way once you do that this surface can be sketched over this surface so let's just do this one so we can darken all the surfaces into this part once you darken that you'll get the c shape on the top view the last thing will be just adding the remaining portions here if you look at the surface it has just a 20 millimeter height so every feature will be projected into this way if you look over the corner so each corner has a three axis for example if you just look this part this has only two axes so additional three axes will be added into this way and then finally you'll have this part so you can add the surface and then the other one from the right end you can add this surface and then finally you will have this layout and then on the width part let's just add this rectangle and then once you construct this line you can get the surface normally this line and this line should be parallel to each other and then once you complete that you will get this part then as i told you before every corner point should have a three axis so if you just look at this one it has only two so we have to add one axis into this one and then if you just look this surface it will have also three axes but since this axis is covered by the surface it will be a hidden line unless it is absolutely necessary we don't construct any hidden line on the pictorial drawing so we can just ignore this part and then if you just look this line from here to here it is visible but the rest of the part is just covered and it will be a hidden line so we'll construct only the visible line once you do that finally you will have this layout so this layout is just constructed with the isometric drawings of this multi-view drawing do you know why just we prefer the front view to be in this direction that means into the left direction instead of the right one let me show you this thing with a comparison for example someone will sketch this drawing into this part and then the other one will sketch this drawing into this orientation if you just look at this surface normally we are just adding some portions here that means we are just removing some portions of the object here so the two drawings will be sketching into this one which drawing can give enough information related to the object assume the objects are the same but their layouts are different so which one will give enough information related to the part it has no question the first one will give enough information because the grooved part can be easily shown here but this part is just covered by this one that means the front view is just inappropriately selected in the right way and then that future is not shown to us 
So the first layout is a proper layout, but the second one is an appropriate. But don't forget that if the hidden line is absolutely necessary in the pictorial drawing, we have to project it. In this case, if the layout is in the second option, that means if you have you know, any option to change the layout of this drawing into the first one, you have to clearly show the hidden surface or the hidden portion. So to do that, you'll use a hidden line just like this one. So the previous object can be constructed into this way. And now the two drawing can give the same information. But don't forget that before constructing any isometric drawing, first just understand the exact position or the exact layouts of the given drawing. Let us just add one additional feature here. So the added features is just clearly shown on the right side views of the given drawing. So I will show you why I just give you the right side views of the drawing instead of using the two views. Now we are just using a three view. So I will show you clearly why just I gave you this information. Before that, if you just enjoy the video, you can just like, share, and then you can subscribe our channel. So let's just add for this part. If you just look this object from the right side view, from here to here, it's just given as a 30 millimeter. So from here to here, it's 30 millimeter and then from the tip it is 30 millimeter so you can construct the two lines which will be projected on the top side if you just look from the top view it is just clearly shown as there is the surface or the future on the top view so once you do that at the remaining axis that means every corner point will have a three isometric axis so into that way we can draw a 30 millimeter height construction line into this way so we can just project every line intended to the isometric axis once you do this now just add the surface now this is just like a u-shape so this u-shape can be constructed into this way and then finally you'll have this layout don't forget that in this case this line and this line are not constructed until the end that means the portions of this is covered so we don't need to construct the remaining part so once you just understand all the things finally you'll have this layout but in this case we have not this line so we have to erase it out and finally, we can get this isometric drawing. Now, what will be happen if the right side view was not given to you? If the right side view was not given, then let me show you the ambiguity. For example, this is just the two views. That means the front and the top views will be given into this way. It has no question. But what will be the multi-view drawings of all those objects? All those drawings have the same front view. And then at the same time, they have the same top view. Did you see this one? All the views will be the same. So the two views are not capable alone to convey all information related to the given object. So we have to add one additional view. That means three multi-view drawings will be necessary to construct the given object as it is. Let's add one inclined surface here and then the video will end up. Now the inclined surface, if you just look from the right side view, the inclined surface is given here. That means from here to here, it is just given as a 15 millimeter horizontally and then vertically it is given as 20 millimeter from here to here. So you will just mark the two pointers and then you can construct this line. Once you just construct this line, you can just project the additional lines into this way. That means the three axes will be constructed into this part. And then the remaining part for this inclined line, you will have one parallel line here. And then finally, you can get that surface. It will be very simple. Then you can just erase out the removed surface on the view. And then finally, you'll have this layout. In constructing the pictorial drawing, the main thing is just to understand where is the exact locations of the future. If you just answer that question, and then understand the meanings of the hidden line and the object line as well as the surfaces and every types of line then you can easily understand how we can construct the pictorial drawing the same problem will happen if only two views are given in such types of object if you just look over all those four objects they have the same front view and the top view so the right side view is just necessary just look onto those objects so they will be differentiated just by using their right side view or their left side view.
So this is just the video related to the pictorial drawing. If you just enjoy the video, you can just subscribe and share. And then you can also comment different things related to this one and which concept could be presented to you. So you can ask any questions related to these issues. And then you can join the channel which is described on the video description to get more exercises with a solution key. So see you soon.